Hey everyone, Rodef here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys 5 amazing game ideas for Roblox. And I have saved the best game idea for last, so make sure you watch until the end of the video. But any, anyways guys, uh, let's get right into it. So, the first game idea is an adventure game. So this can be any kind of adventure game, the map can be anything open. Uh, think of a large and open area like a desert, an arctic, or a forest map. Um, basically around the game, players can speak to NPCs for uh, more objectives, and objectives will... Uh, drive the player to explore the map and go around and while players go around the map they can collect uh, you know things like coins and things and they can buy things from the shop which can uh, then allow the players to buy transport to travel the map faster and complete objectives even faster and obviously you can increase player speed by default if you feel it's too slow since that's what I do for larger maps the next game I have in mind is a survival game this game um, they're gonna have smaller maps and it's gonna be a bit more challenging Smaller equals more difficult, that's just, um, you know, true. Smaller maps will make a survival game more difficult. Also, one good thing to add is map voting. This allows for map variety when players uh, play the game, and they can all choose what they actually want to play. And the next thing we have is multiplayer, but it's going to be PvE. Players love being on the same side as their friends and playing games together and fighting off entities together. So that's how this game is going to work. Make sure it's difficult, so there's actually some fun to the game. It makes the game a game. But don't, uh, but also don't make, don't make it impossible. It needs to be completable. And remember, Roblox is targeted towards uh, lower-aged individuals, so make sure you take that into account. And obviously, make sure the players are slightly faster than the NPCs. Or if you want for a hard mode, you can also add difficulties. The NPCs can be faster. And obviously, make sure there are rewards, or else the game will have no purpose. The players are going to play for rewards and buy things from the shop. That's how the game is going to function. The next game we have in mind, uh, next game I have in mind is a uh, tycoon. And basically, for tycoons, one thing I always say is make sure there's an auto save. Players love to return to the game if there's an auto save. The games where players return to keep playing are the games that perform the best. And um, that takes us to our next point: make sure there are rebirths. This will allow the player to play the game again and again, even after they complete it. Obviously, add bonuses so there's a reward for rebirths. Players won't do anything if there's no purpose. So make sure you do add bonuses for rebirths. The next thing you want to add is PvP. So basically the Tycoon is going to have two areas. Uh, one will be the player's base, the safe zone, and then players can also leave their base um, to the actual PvP area and they can return to their base for safety and things like that. Make sure there are weapons the players can buy inside their uh, whole uh, base. And the next is a hangout game. So um, as you can see here we have an invite friends um, menu. So that's what the invite f uh, friends button will prompt. Um, games will perform 100 times better if the player can play with their friend uh, or friends in a hangout game. So you always want to have an invite friends button and that will make this invite friends things pop up. And these are actually really helpful for games and their performance so make sure you have one of these. The next thing I have is uh, currency for staying in the game. So I'm going to talk about premium payouts. Basically for, uh, the longer players stay in your game the more money you'll earn. And uh, we'll return to premium payouts in a second. I just want to talk about social aspects. So make sure you have a high quality chat. So basically when a player is typing, other people can see above their head that they're typing. That's just something uh, really cool I find in games. And it makes them a lot more higher quality. Um, the next thing I have is emotes with a sync emote feature. I, I f uh, find that these are really helpful for hangout games. But now going back to premium payouts, if I quickly go to my transactions here. As you can see, uh, Roblox has been paying me out for uh, one game I released a while ago. As you can see, we can go back three pages, 37 Robux. So even if players don't buy game passes or anything, make sure you, um, you keep players in your game so that more people with premium will stay in your game and Robux will pay you for that. My biggest payout was over here, 478 Robux on uh, February 7th of this year. After that, I've been receiving uh, you know more of a consistent amount. Um, but going back to the presentation, the next thing we have is the best game on Roblox, the best performing game on Roblox, if done correctly, it is the simulator. Um, so it is, yeah, once again, the best performing game on Roblox. Make sure your data saves, obviously players won't return if it doesn't save. And uh, again, all honestly, all games should have, any game with currency should have this, an AFK for currency type uh, area, so you can go into a different game. If you, have, if you guys have played All-Star Tower Defense, they have a little area, and that's basically how they make a lot more money. Players will stay in the game, and um, even All-Star Tower Defense uh, has it there. If you have premium, you'll earn more when you're AFK. So um, basically, that's how you just want to get people with Roblox premiums to stay in your game, and they will earn a lot of currency, and you'll earn a lot of Robux. It's a win-win situation there. The next thing you want to have is rebirths. Obviously, players will stop playing the game when they 
complete the game because there's nothing to do. That's when you want to have rebirths. And you also want to make the game difficult but easy to progress. So this is probably the most challenging part of a simulator. You want to make sure it's difficult enough to the point where it's a game that they want to grind out. But you also want to make sure it's easy enough for the lower uh, aged individuals that play the game. You also want to make sure there's a good tutorial and things uh, like that. But other than that guys, it's Rodev. I hope you enjoyed this new style of video. And if you guys did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to let me know. Leave a comment if you would like to. And other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.